For weeks, we've been talking about hospitals struggling under the weight of so many Hoosiers getting sick with COVID. But this is a problem that reaches far beyond hospital rooms. Tonight, our Lauren Kostick looks into this ripple effect it's causing for EMTs across our state. When paramedics get a call, they will always come to help. But where they can take you is constantly changing. The last few years have been incredibly difficult. Uh, we've seen the waves come through. We see when COVID is bad. We see when it's not bad. Uh, our volume of calls, of runs have gone way up. Um, our transport times are longer. It's taking longer for us to get to patients, longer to take care of them. The pandemic has created new challenges for paramedics. Many hospitals are at or above capacity and at times aren't accepting new patients, going on what's called diversion. Uh, it used to be that patients mostly had the luxury of choosing what hospital they wanted to go to. Um, and anymore, we can't honor that. Um, those hospitals may not be accepting the types of patients that want to go there. And it changes minute by minute and can also depend on the patient's condition. We can always force a hospital to take a patient, um, but that doesn't usually set up a good working relationship for that hospital later on. With longer transport times, it also means ambulances are taking longer to get back in service for the next call. And we're finding ourselves responding to calls um, in our city in Indianapolis because their resources are stressed. It's an extra level of frustration, and just like any other healthcare worker, they are burnt out too. We have all reached the point where we're just so burnt out and we're tired, um, and it's really hard because we're still trying to help take care of people. We're we're exhausted. I mean. We are, we're exhausted. We're, we're doing more with less. But no matter what, they will always respond and provide care to every Hoosier. If you call, we will, we will come, we always will, but it's definitely more challenging than it ever has been before. So the next time you call 911, remember many first responders are going the extra mile to answer the call. Be patient, be gracious, um, and get vaccinated. Please get vaccinated. The Brownsburg Fire Department right now has two ambulances in service. They're still looking to add another one to help with call volume and response time.